Hello there, my movie lovers. Welcome back to Is It Still Good, where we dive into films of yesteryear and see if they still hold up to our modern tastes. Now, before we jump into today's review, I want to address something real quick. Recently, I received quite a bit of backlash for expressing my changing opinion on the comedy classic Super Troopers, right? It seems some of you guys misunderstood the purpose of this channel. Is It Still Good is about exploring how our tastes in film evolve over time. That's the point. And I've always loved that movie and was surprised, as anyone else, upon a rewatch, that I didn't have that much fun with it this time. I didn't like it. Sorry. That's the point of the project, is to report that. It goes the other way too, and we're going to get to that. But in the future, I shouldn't catch such flack for being honest about my evolving feelings towards my favorite movies and those who are rude just flat out miss the point of the project. So, from here on out, I'm not tolerating that nonsense, and when I'm speaking the truth about my feelings on the movies I used to love, you know, feel free to chime in and differing opinions are just fine with me. As, as a matter of fact, that's what makes art interesting. I like hearing different viewpoints. Even if you didn't like something, I don't take it personally. I didn't work on Super Troopers. I didn't write the script. My uncle didn't star in it. And I don't understand why you guys like pick camps it seems to be like this American thing going on now where we're just like programmed to attack each other for being in camps based on taste and preference. That's silly. That's not what makes us human. Okay, so cut it out. And I had to delete a whole bunch of comments and like block people and stuff like, yo, chill out. I didn't like Super Troopers. Relax. It's a kind of a lame movie, by the way. When's the last time you saw it? The other thing, too, is people defend these films that haven't seen them in years. Watch them right now and get through that entire 140 minutes and tell me you were enthralled for all that runtime. Because for me, for my money, there was a few sporadic laughs. I loved the first 20 minutes and the rest of it, I was really shocked that I did not like it at all. That's the interesting part. I used to really like that whole movie. So that's the point of the channel. It's not whether or not I'm reviewing the film, it's how I feel about it over time as I age. I was like 20 when it came out, now I'm like 43. Stuff changes. That's the point. Okay? Capiche? Got it? Good? Moving on. Now, Tremors 1990 is a film that totally surprised me in the other way. Back in the day, I wasn't a big fan of Tremors. I was like 10 when it came out. It, I don't like that sand, dusty environment, but it actually... It acts like its own character. It's really interesting. It's good for setup. And considering what the Graboids are, that's the creature in this, you need that environment, right? It makes total sense. I preferred Critters when I was younger, and I think I still do, but I haven't seen Critters in a long, long time. But I didn't like Tremors. Now I watched Tremors last night, and I had an absolute blast. So what if we make it to the rocks? We'll be dead in three days anyway. Well, I want to live for the three days. And I'm not just trying to give you guys positive news because you beat me up last week. I'm not that kind of guy. I don't care. I don't believe YouTube is a real place. But it's actually true. I was shocked last night when I watched Tremors and I really loved it. The practical effects, the clever setups, the payoffs, the character development. I like Kevin Bacon in it. It's a solid film. It deserves recognition. Now there's like 10 of them. Are all the Tremors in the franchise good? I don't know. I don't think so. I'll start working through them. I'll watch part two now. But in my experience, the original is usually the best. Tremors won. Awesome. It was really fun. So what do I give Tremors as far as a number score? Well, let me sell you a book, and I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully you guys bought a book and I'm gonna give Tremors a number score now. What do I give it? I give it a solid eight out of 10, which is a pretty high score for me. It's a really fun ride, plenty of thrills, laughs. It's all written in the but therefore format. Something happens, therefore they gotta do something, but this happens, therefore they gotta do something. Simple format, but totally effective for the story. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's a simple writing tactic that worked really, really well for this. And Tremors is awesome. So before we wrap up, I just want to remind everybody of something important. You got to respect differing opinions. Very important. We all have our own tastes and preferences when it comes to movies. I would never pick on you guys for liking something or not liking something. That's that's beneath me. You know what I mean? I, I don't. I'm not that kind of guy, and you shouldn't be that kind of person either. This isn't that kind of channel, and I will block you from the place. Right? I want good people on here talking about films, sharing our love of movies in a positive way. We feel safe to pipe up, right? You might have a weird opinion. You know what movie I love that everyone in the world hates? It's called Gentleman Broncos. It's kind of like 
uh, Napoleon Dynamite for sci-fi writers. It's really goofy. It's totally cheesy. If somebody hates that movie, I totally get it. That being said, when I watch that movie, I'm just happy wall to wall, right? I feel that way about a lot of Wes Anderson movies that people don't like, and I really love them. So I don't mind liking something that nobody else likes. It makes it even more special for me. It's okay to be in the minority with your taste. It's fine. So just wanted to kind of touch base on that. Let's keep the dialogue open and respectful. There's no wrong answers when it comes to personal preference. That's the important part. And that's it. That's it for today's review. Thanks for joining me on Is It Still Good? Remember, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments what films you'd like to see me revisit in the near future. And until next time, happy watching. Guys. Ha, 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 ha.